what's up guys welcome back so today we'll be writing a program which will check whether a given number is prime or not so uh, let's see what is a prime number now a prime number is a number which is divisible by one and itself only it is not divisible by any other number when I say 9, 9 has 3 factors that is 9 is divisible by 3 numbers that is 1, 3 and 9. Now the, as per the definition of uh, a prime number is 1 which is divisible by 1 and itself. So this is divisible by 1 and itself but it is also divisible by 3 right. So it is not a prime number. So uh, how we take a prime number say 11. Now, now 11 is divisible by only 1 and 11 right that is 1 and itself so it is a prime number. Now this is uh, 9 is not a prime number and 11 is a prime number. So I hope your concept of prime number is clear. If you have any doubt please do put it in the comment section. Uh, I'll uh, try to solve it. Now let's look at the logic that we'll be implementing uh, in our code. Now what we'll try to do is that we'll try to divide the number, a given number, the, uh, by uh, from we'll start it from 2 and go up till itself minus 1. What do I mean by this? Suppose say we want to check whether 15 is prime or not. So what we'll do is that we'll start from 2 and go up till 14. Okay, so itself minus 1 means the number minus 1. We'll check if the number is, uh, any number is dividing uh, your 15. Now if any number is dividing your 15 then it is not a prime number and if a number is, uh, if uh, none of these numbers is dividing them then it is a prime number. So if we look at 15, now if we start, now 15 is not divisible by 2. Okay, so we'll go to the next number. Now 15 is divisible by 3. Okay, so this is not a prime number. So I'll just uh, pre uh, show an animation which will make this concept a little more clear. So uh, suppose say we want to check whether 49 is a prime or not. So what we'll do is we'll try to divide it by 2. So it is not divisible by 2. Okay, so we'll continue to 3. Now. 49 is also not divisible by 3 so we'll continue this process 4 it's not divisible by 4 it's not divisible by 5 right and we'll go to 6 and it is also not divisible by 6 but now when we come to 7 now this is divisible by 7 right so it's not a prime number now we'll uh, look at the same animation for prime numbers now we know that 11 is a prime number right so we start out by 2 so it is not divisible by 2 we'll continue with 3 it's not divisible by 3. So we'll continue this process until we reach 10. Okay, so it's not divisible by 6, not divisible by 7, not divisible by 8, not divisible by 9, and not divisible by 10. Now, after we have reached 10, we can conclude finally that it is a prime number. So this is the logic that we'll be using to check whether a number is prime or not. So let's quickly jump into the code. So now I just created a check prime.c file and I just wrote down your stdio and main. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, know which number we want to check. So this will be given to us by a by the user. So we'll just be asking the user for a, an input. Okay, so I'll quickly write it down. Okay, so what I just did is that I declared a variable as input number and just took the input from the user. Now comes our main logic. Now to check, you remember, right? We start from uh, we start uh, uh, dividing the number from two and go up till the given number minus one. So I'll just be writing down. For this, we need a for loop, right? So we need to repeatedly divide this number till the uh, till the number minus one, right? So I'll just start our for loop now. So here I'll just declare the loop uh, variable. Now you know that we need to start dividing the number from two and go up till where we need to go up till i is less than or equal to, uh, less than equal to your input number minus 1 right and we need to increment it by 1 so i'll just do that so now we need to keep dividing this number right so we need to check if if the given number that is our input number is divisible by our loop variable so if it is divisible then the remainder of the now if it is divisible the remainder of our uh, division will give us 0 right so if it is 0 then we can clearly state that it is not a prime number right so I'll just be using a variable 
so i just declared a variable prime to know whether the given number is prime or not now if the this number is 0 that means that it is not a prime number and if it is 1 it is a prime number so by default we'll be assuming that the given number is a prime number but in this loop we'll try to find out whether whether it is prime or not now say uh, if the number is divisible by any of the numbers between 2 uh, and uh, itself minus 1 then it is not a prime number right so we'll just be assigning the prime equal to 0 that means that it is not a prime number and we'll break the loop okay so when we are outside the loop our variable which contains our result whether it is prime or not is stored in a prime variable right so we'll just be asking this prime variable whether it is equal to 0 now if it is equal to 0 that means that it is not a prime number so we'll just print a statement saying that it is not a prime number now we'll be putting an else now if it is not a prime number that means that it is a prime number right so we'll just print it so now we have completed writing our code now let's compile and see if we have any errors so we don't have any errors so now let's run the code to see if we uh, the output we are getting is right so it says enter a number right so i know that 49 is not a prime so i'll just start with 49 and see so it is not a prime now let's try for a prime number now say we know that 11 is a prime number right so we'll try for 11 yeah it is a prime so we have successfully implemented our code to check whether a num given number is prime or not i hope you have understood everything if you have any doubts please do put it in the comment section i'll solve your doubt as quickly as possible please do subscribe to our channel like our videos follow our facebook page and as usual you can uh, find the source code in in the description section and we also have our blog where we put technical stuff stuff you can just uh, look into the description section will where you will find the link to our blog thank you